So, so the question is, is that if I'm very tired uh, in the daytime and then in the night I want to try to do that, it's very hard to concentrate. Okay. So sleep, take a nap first. When you feel you have enough energy, then do that. Because okay. although we are sitting here, we kind of uh, use some important energy here. Our mind is, is we use it a lot. So yeah, you, you, you don't want to um, force uh, too, too, too much yourself. Because otherwise it won't, won't work uh, anyway. But there's a one way, so you lie down and do the most uh, simple or most uh, straightforward technique that you think. Say, I, I, I'm just suggesting that, so the turtle breathing or the Dantian breathing, exp inhale, expand, uh, ab, waist, and uh, kidney, and then go back. This, I think most of people is already automatic. So you just lie down and do this while you're tired. This can recharge you or can easily put you to sleep. Then you just sleep. And then once you got charged with, uh, with uh, more energy, then do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank good, you. Question, good question. This is very general question. And uh, yeah, you want to make sure that, remember I said that do not close your eyes. So some people mm, not even close their eyes and they, they sort of uh, have to sleep. Then if that's the case, then you, you probably want to go to sleep. Take a nap. In the daytime, so take a 30 minutes nap, then come back. You, you, you have a lot of energy recharged and then you will, will, will serve the purpose. You, you spend a little energy, you got a lot done. So, good question, good question. Any other questions? Um, last week's uh, uh, lesson, can we sit down to it or is we have to stand, stand up doing it? Last week's, okay. So, oh, the one that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you can do that, but it's, you, you lie down and you do this, okay, that's fine. And lie down, <laughs> lie down, do this. You need to lie flat. Uh, no, oh no, not lying down, it's sitting down instead of- Sitting down, okay, sitting down. Oh, okay, sitting down is it's doable, sitting down is doable. Which one is better? Standing, of course. That's why this is designed for you, for you to stand in. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to sit down, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Probably not lie down. First, uh, for some reason, I thought you would sit down. That's, yeah, so uh, sit down. Yeah, so sit down, you see here, because it's not the really, uh, straight because you you got uh, restricted by the chairs and all those things doable doable and of course see if you you if you sit um, only three inches so your elbow go up, go back will not hit your your chair then yeah you can do that and when right, you so you do you think uh, sitting is easier for you compared with the standing? Uh, I think it's the same. I'm just, I'm just because I try sitting down, it's the same. So I was wondering what's the... Uh, okay, the, the same. Uh, are, you, are you saying that the, the chi sensation is the same? Or? Chi uh, sensation is basically the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, then, then that's, that's fine. Then that's fine. Okay. And, and when you do, do this, uh, where is your e, your e for the last lesson? Last lesson? 
Yeah. Even the, the Dam Wai Xing Qi? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, so the, the first one for Dan Tian, remember we start from here? Yeah. And then we, our E going up, then going to each, each individual is uh, uh, differently, right? So the first one is from Huiying to Qihai. Then you do this, then press, half, half press. But then this one, you go to your, so from Huiying to Qihai to your waist, and then doing this and this. Yep. Then the last one is from Hui Yin Chi Hai, waist to your kidney, and then you, you do this and then back. So uh, are you saying that we are still trying to keep the Chi inside the abdomen rather than feeling it on your palms, on your hands mm -hmm. while you're moving, moving them out? So, oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So still, so so more or less is pressing. So inhale half you to here, and the halfway you do the press. Inhaling press, yep. and here inhaling press, press out, inhaling press out your kidney. The dot one, dot two, dot three. Focusing on your arms or on not, your. Oh yeah, it's it's not. You don't want. Uh, focus your chi to your arm. It's not uh, not like um, I, I see. I see what you're saying. Not like I say the iron shin. So we go out, go out. This is to to the the your shin. Now this one is still doing the the press in here. Your yes, your lower dantian, but with hands. Help, and then it it will automatically go there. So you you don't want your e go there. Go to your hands. Yeah, because you group it under xing qi. Dam yes. is under xing qi, so I thought that it is outside of your abdomen. It is like going up or going outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, th this one definitely is a, it's um it's a, how do you say that it's a it's a gray gray area. But we want focus on here, and we don't have a say a path for you to go out to the to the hands. Thank you. Yeah, good question. Good question. Any other questions? Okay, go to today's. Today's is the passing chi. Also, we have. Uh, that one, that two, that three. Oh. Before I start, I want to tell you that this is a new one. New, new one, I mean, the new, new technique in here. So some people might feel a little say difficult, but try it. You should be able to do that. In fact, I was postponing this to, uh, used to be I was using two, two breathing, but now we have to use one breathing. Okay, how do we do that? So the, the first one, the dot one, is the guan qi to qi hai. So you inhale to your chi hai. That's easy. Finish your inhale. And then exhale to guan qi, to your chi hai. What's the difference between pressing or concentrate? And uh, guan means uh, passing. Passing actually very similar to these two, the, the pressing and the concentrate. Why you won't think that is, you just get all your chi to there. Uh, analogies is that you go to a 
a lake, big lake. You get a jar of water, you just pour in. So water just go there. Go to where? You probably don't know and you don't need to know. It just keep going in there. So the guan qi, the passing qi is, get your qi, just go there. Then you say, is that I'm concentrated making like a ball or a, a con a dance? No. And if you am pressing, no. Just get all the qi to there. Okay, so, so remember that, the passing qi. Actually, for the passing to the xing, that's easier because there's a path. You say, oh, we're just passing that. But this one, you just go there. That's one. So inhale to from the south pole to qi hai. Then exhale about the half go passing your qi to your qi hai, meaning move as much as your qi to your qi hai using your yi. And uh, tighten your anus. Tighten. Not just a little bit, just really you want to tighten gradually and tighten. Once you feel here the qi hai start tightening, then you relax, continue to press and go back to go back along the same route back. That's just one one repeat. One cycle. Is that? That's kind of strange because, because we, we, we never did this before is that exhale, say passing, do something, and then the second half go back along the path. Try it, then we'll see. For first, any any questions about the instruction? Could you repeat that, the teacher? Yeah. One more one more time, please. Okay. Inhale from South Pole to Qi Hai. That's no problem. Use your regular thing, long, relaxed, and smooth. Then you exhale to at the same time. Use your E to move Qi to that point as much as possible as the passing Qi. At the same time, tighten your anus. So about halfway of your exhaling, you feel tight on your Qi Hai. Then you start relax and then continue exhaling and direct your chi from chi high back to south pole. And at the same time relax the anus. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so, uh, sorry. So the, the, that's why I said, yeah. So the, the route also is this new. Sorry, the, the path. The path should be from South Pole, South Pole to your back, to your Mingmen, your life gate, then to your Qi Hai. Just inhaling. Huh? When you are inhaling. Yes, yes. When you're inhaling. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, because we have uh, quite a few new things yeah yes yes quite a few new things okay several new things new things is, is that we inhaling back from the back up and then go to chi hai the second new thing is, is that we exhale the first half you probably notice that I'm hesitating to say half. You half is probably just an easy way. And later on, if you feel that it's not necessarily half, so less than half or more than half, that's fine. Just you, each individual can figure out. So I'm just currently, I would just say that say half. It's for easy to explain. explain. So the first half, 
passing qi to your qi hai. And then go to the and then tighten your anus. anus. Once you feel tight on your qi hai, then you relax. Especially you relax your anus, and then the second half of the exhale, you go back the same route, which is from qi hai, go through your waist, and then to the ming men, life gate, and then go down to your south pole. By the way, so the ming men, or say the life gate, is the point directly go back from your belly button. Ming men is the point on the back. Any questions? <laughs> Okay. Try, try, try it, try it. You will. Well, no, that, that's why I warned you that there's a, several new things. I might have missed it. On the way, uh, the breathing in and breathing out, the path is the same. same. Path okay. is the same. Path is, is the same. Only the time will be a little, not a little, it's different. When we're inhaling, it's our regular. Length. But the go back is about, say, half of that. Teacher, when you inhale, do you go through the waist as well? I thought yes, yes, was... yes. Oh. So, 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 the, so the, the path is that from your south pole, from back, go up to, to your life gate, me man, and then along the belt, the belt, so, to your waist and then to the chi hai. And to the circle. And then when exhaling. Exhaling, just... the first half of exhaling, you're passing chi to chi hai as much as possible. And then the second half, relax and then go back the same route, reverse. Okay. And uh, passing chi to chi hai. there, but. Right, to Chi Hai, but from where? Just, is it along the same path in there or just generally thinking, not generally from thinking from where, just... That, yeah, you can, you can think from there, you can think it's general, that's all. Same path. Oh, yeah. fine. Okay. Mm, remember, tighten your anus. This mm -hmm. needs to be, be uh, uh, say, a focus. Okay, and the question, the other question I had, and I had a similar one from before. Uh, in this case, are we passing it to the basically to outside of our body? Outside our body. So, no. so the, to that that point. Remember, it's, it's, I used it's the, gathering in there, but yes, but sort of a sorry. gathering, sort of gathering, sort of like a press. Very similar. But we're not making it kind of more dense, right? We're just oh. okay. So that's the difference between. Got it. That's why I, I use an analogy: yep. say the water pouring. You don't make it dense, but it's, it's just go there, and it's go to where? Ah, go go there. But you you know there's a point, right? So you, you go in, go there. That's the passing. Try it. Okay. Any any questions on the steps? Before we, we try, try it, you, you might have more questions. Or you might say, ah. OK. Remember from the back.
Okay. Any feedbacks? Easy? A little hard to keep track of, but it feels like it's getting easier with practice, so. Okay, good, good, yeah. Yeah, same here. I um I haven't been doing um because of this this waist thing is back and forth. The second part when I exhale, I always need to remember where. Where you go? Yeah. So yeah, I just need more practice. Okay. Any other feedbacks? So for for the second half of the exhaling. You can think in this way. Think the feeling, but don't really go use uh, mathematics, uh, physics to calculate this. So how, why I say that? So think the first uh, half of the exhaling, more or less you have uh, something like a suction. So for, first on the this is what I'm thinking. Other people might think in different ways. My works also, there's in several ways. So you think that you're inhaling up to here. So you build up the pipe, right, the water pipe. Then you, ex exhaling, more or less you start sucking, but not quite. So you, you, you get all the chi to that, that point. Then, once you got second, first half, second half, you just let it go. The water just go back through on this reverse. You, if you, you can you think that, or say uh, heat or some other things, go back. Let it, gravity works. Agnes? I have a question because uh, I understood the second part of ex exhaling to okay. let it go back the same path as we come in. But I have a trouble to understood the first part of exhaling. It's a little bit, um, is that gathering the chi even though that's exhaling? I am not yes. sure. Yeah, you can think, you can think it's very similar to gathering, exhaling, gathering. We have a uh, exhale gathering before. We have inhale gathering, we have exhale gathering. So, so that, that technique is, is easier, right? <clears throat> we have, yeah. So the 15 is the uh, inhaling, gathering, then six. Number six. 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 Yeah. So exhaling, gathering. Yeah, we have that before. Is that so? You can yes, you can try to sort of relate to that. The only makes. Thinking that way, the gathering, so it's easier for you. You already have step there. But the, why we call passing or say guan qi is, we just, like your water, you, you guan water to a, to a bottle, this is guan, going there. We don't gather. We don't make it dense. Let it, let it go. Let it go. Go where? Well, I don't know. Because like uh, you pour water to a, a big lake. So um, that's the idea of uh, the guan qi. The okay, then uh, do you mean we tighten the anus? Yes, uh, that's the one easy physically you want to do that. And so then your mind, you want to think, try to bring as much as possible of a qi, just continue going there, just the water, shh, use 
just open the water, just go there. Uh, may I ask if tightening anus means at the beginning of the first exhale yes. or the beginning? The okay. beginning of the, the first uh, exhale. So that's a very, um, so a lot of thing is kind of like, a, how do you call that? It's vague or nebulous, it's hard to describe, but there's an easy distinguishes the first half of exhaling, you tighten, 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 tighten your anus. Then the beginning of the second half is you start relax your anus. That's a very, uh, very clear distinguish. Thank you. Good question. Other than that, it's, it's you, you have to think, that's why I explained this, the passing water, or water just flow back, think in that way. Any other questions? No questions? Or, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure exactly where to tighten the anus. When to tighten the anus is the, when you, the first uh, exhale, first half of the exhale. Okay. And you tighten, 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 tighten right. to the half and then relax and yes. relieve. Yes. At that, at that point, at that point, the chi already went to Ming Men. Okay, good question. So for the first half, when we tighten, actually, so uh, different people already think about it, sort of like a gathering. So for easy understanding, sort of you're gathering, but not quite like you want to think that to the water, right? So sort of a gathering, get the chi. Don't, okay, don't use the gathering. So get the chi there to your chi high, the first half of exhaling, and uh, you tighten your anus. Right. Then second half, you start relax your anus and uh, your E move your chi go back the same route, the reverse way. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. If you still have questions, that's fine. Maybe we, we continue to the dot two. Dot two is similar. Not quite, but you will help you help the dot one also. So let's try that. Teacher, I, I have want, huh? can I ask one more question. <laughs> uh, now, now I know where my confusion is. You know, when we um, when we inhale, we go through we we go to uh, from South Pole to Ming Men to Waist and to Chi High. So it's pretty much all in the back, in the back. The, the path is in the, right, to the, I Not really to the back, right? So only it's, go oh, up and then the, the oh, whole, whole area. Yeah, so when we inhale, it's from the back to the front, and then when we exhale, it's from the front to the back, right? Just reverse. Okay. I don't know why, this just confuses me this time. I don't know why. That's why I say you don't want to think too much. You just like uh, let the water, you build the pipe, mm -hmm. then water, you will, you will it should automatically, because you just newly built that pipe, the path. Yes. Yeah. And you just okay. let it go, relax. Okay. And okay. really, try, try the second one. So, okay. So the top one is the qi hai, or say the lower dan dian, but we, we are talking about the point. The da two, is the middle dantian point, which is, you all know, zhong ran, which is, yes, I saw you, Jean, four fingers worth above mm. your belly, belly button. That's that point. So you, you probably already know what I'm going to say this. Inhale, E from South Pole to Ming Men through your waist 
to your chi hai, then up to zhong ren. That's inhale. Exhale, same thing. The first half, guan qi, move passing qi to this point. As much as possible, tighten your anus. Once you feel this point start getting tight, then you relax and then go the same route, reverse back. the second half of the exhale. So for people writing notes, the first half, the, the, the qi hai one, or say the lower dantian one, you saw any, any notes that you, you, write, you wrote, this is the same, except the path end up in the zhong ran. So just one extra seven fingers. Don't, don't, I'm just kidding. Just one extra, the last from Chi Hai to Zhong Ren. And so still, people still writing. Any questions? Should be, we, we discussed the detail on the first uh, dot one. So the dot two should be straightforward. Only try it. Okay, yeah. Any questions before try it? Say, Xiaosong has questions? No. When do you, when do you tighten the anus? The first half of your exhale. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any any questions before we try it? Okay, let's try it.
Okay. Any feedback? Is it easier? It's a little easier because, you know, the path is more familiar, but also I found that I was trying to keep the breathing slow and kind of the moving of the chi slow, but uh, it was hard to, it, it wasn't smooth as a result. So I tried going faster than it felt I should, and then it got smooth and then I was able to slow down a little bit more. So it seems like, and I do that sometimes and I think that's okay, right? Kind of go yeah. faster to get a feel for the path and then start slowing down. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point. And actually, that's a good technique. Remember, I mentioned that. So for getting your breathing long, you want to use the turtle breathing counting. So if I have this much, the length of the inhaling and the exhaling, when we do any particular te techniques, you don't want to go fully 100% of your Length. Otherwise, the changing is very hard to control. So just use as much as possible, still comfortable, not a stretch to the limit. And you have no any uh, buffer. You have to just go back. Then it's just more or less a bounce back. You have, it's not controlling back. So yes, the technique is, is that you don't want to use the full length, meaning don't have to be that slow the first time. And then you feel the whole thing, get familiar with the, the technique, the path, and the, how, the, how we do that. And then you can say, oh, I have no problem on this. Let's try to make it a little longer. Can I do that? If you can, that's fine. Let's try. Can I do that a little longer? That's fine. Still under control, then that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's all, always is a good technique. So when we do individual techniques, don't have to be go to 100% of you inhaling or exhaling. So it's more under your control. Good point. How about others? Yeah, Agnes? I have a question about the name of this practice. It says, Guan Xue Fa Ren Mai. Yeah. Um, in the first section, first part, when we talk about Zen Mai, is from the front. But now I know the concentration eventually get to the Dantian or Zongwan. But however, your movement is from South Pole to the back. Because when we learn Zen Mai at the first part, is from front. So I have a little bit of confusion here. Good. Good. So see the name, right? So it says Guan Xue Fa. So passing to the points. What are those points? The dot one, dot two, dot three. The first point is Qi Hai. The second point is Zhong Ran. The third point gonna be Tan Zhong. All those three points are along the a point meridian, your Ren Mai. That's why this technique name Ren Mai, a point meridian, Guan, Guan Xue, passing Qi to the point. So those points in your point meridian. All right, thank you. Good question. So that's why Guan Xue, it's not the going to the meridian. Although uh, those those points, those xue means points. Those those xue those points are along the front, the rim map. Any other questions? Easy, hard. Compare with the first one? Similar to the first one. And when you say Guan, the direction of Guan is go, go down, right? It, it's not pushing out. It's going down. Not necessarily going down. Just 
go there. So it's similar to, that's why people say gathering. However, when we gathering or concentrate, we want gathering. Once the chi go there, don't let it go. So more or less you build up the pressure in the ball. So that's uh, like you, you get the air going to a basketball. That's quiet. But for this one, you want to think there's no boundary. Just like water, go to that point. Go to that point. Go where? It's not necessary to go there. It's go then you will just go, go into the big, uh, big pond, ocean. Or how you, how you say it, just big, just go, but it's, it's going there. That's the a little hard part on the concept. Say, Guan. Say, oh. I, I guan, guan water to a, to a jar. And so, so I'm pouring water to a jar. That's Guan. However, the jar is a big, big jar then you not really, you, you, you don't have a boundary. If it's so big, there's no boundary. Just water going there. So this is not exactly the same as two thing. That means you exhale and push out your Press. belly. It's not the same. No, not the same. Similar to two thing, similar to a uh, two ju. <laughs> Right? People was referring, oh, so this is like a press, or this is like a gathering, but a lot of different. So go chi, go there. But uh, for ding means we press out. Say usually ding is go from inside to outside of your our body to say expand. That's thing. The for the ju or say the concentrate or uh, that's more or less we want to build up the pressure. So it's just like a ball. We just give what uh, air going that and the pressures keep going up. So to uh, for the ju or say concentrate that's to a basketball. Because you get air all in, and uh, the shape of basketball will not change. As opposed to if you, you, you give air to a balloon, the balloon is going to expand. That's not what we want. The ju, the concentrate, is just like get air to a basketball. So the outside shape is not moving. But this one, you just go in there, we, there's no pressure build up. So, because uh, there's no boundary, boundary is not there. Thank you. So it's like, so it's like breathing water, uh, breathing air into a house, right? There's so much there that it's not gonna concentrate significantly. Yeah. Yeah. Just go there. This is vast, so vast. It's right. just go going there, but we know going there. Go go to where? Is that uh, here? Here? We don't know. We we do. Okay. Uh, Agnes. Yeah. I have trouble to understand that the no boundary to apply to this practice. Because to me, at my level, everything has a point. Because you go from the South Pole to the Mingmen, and all this, go to Zhongran or go to Dantian. I cannot imagine uh, there is no boundary. So maybe you can teach me. Uh, is that an imagination when I have the qi all gathered to my dantian or my zhongran? Suppose that means it's wu bian wu ji, not thinking about it as a container part of thing. But yet your explanation said ju to the point, that is not no boundary. Earlier you, actually you and Eugene or who other mentioned, just like the ju, just like the concentrate, just like, it's not the concentrate. Remember I said that. So you, because now we can relate that because we know the ju, the concentrate. So we say, okay, yeah, if you tell me to concentrate, I know 
no problem. I don't even need to ask because I can do it right away. However, this is Guan. Guan is very similar to Ju. The one thing is no boundary. So the analogy I gave is, say you pour water to a lake or say even ocean. Yes, there's a boundary, but you don't know the boundary. You can't see the boundary and uh, the water going really is no boundary. Or actually, so you can think about many different ways. No boundary, I mean, you don't build up the pressure there. So Eugene was saying that, see, if you open the door or the breeze coming to your, your house, you this is going to the house, but it goes through your door. So you know, it's go through the door, which is the point. And then, so if I pour the water, that's the, that's the, the point. From the, the jar goes to the lake, there's a point that I go in, but this is Guan. That's exactly we Guan, Guan water to, to, to this point. But then once you go into that, that point, because it's a big lake, you don't know where it went. And you don't know, you don't need to know. You just keep pouring, that's it. So Eugene was right. something. Yeah, uh, a different analogy you can say if it, there's something wrong with it, but uh, right, if you're getting air or water, it has to go somewhere. But if you think in the case where you're not building it up or not building up the pressure, uh, like it's shining a light, right? The light just goes and then you don't really think where does the light go after that. So it's, you're focusing on it, but it's not really changing the spot that you're focusing on or that area is a result of focusing on it. Is that? Yeah, that's, that's another, know? another way to, to look at it. Yes, yes, definitely. So yeah, yeah. So because there's no, Before, up to so far, up to now, we don't have this point to a point. So it's you need to try to think that. And actually, oh, so the one point is so Eugene was saying that light. Actually, so it's could be you start feeling heat, feeling the heat sensation. Could definitely, it's possible. And uh, I think some of you probably feel that. So Agnes, is that answer your question? I think I just need the time to to do more to to try to sense to. Um, I I I sort of understood what you say. Maybe I'm at the level to bond myself in certain practice or certain passing without thinking about more deeper sense of this. Uh, quant. So I needed time to understand it. I still don't get it. Good, good point. Actually, it's kind of reverse. You don't want to think too much deeper on this one. You don't want to think too detailed. We do have a number one. It's Guan Chi. So you uh, do, yeah. Ke Jing Gong is a passing to your Xin. So we, it actually is the same thing. You don't constrain on your foot. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, I mentioned that, right? Then, so that one is passing, although the passing is uh, like a path, right? The, the iron sheen is path. Thou is just a point. Yes, yeah, actually you can think in that way. You already did. Okay, thank and, you. And you want, so, Remember, so in the beginning, very, very beginning, I'm just jump out to all the details of the technique. The, in the beginning, I mentioned that, so for Qigong, say sitting Qigong meditation, say, there's a kind of two extreme. One extreme actually, is, which is a lot uh, type is, belongs to that is, they don't tell you details. You just go sit straight, relax, uh, think, don't think, empty your mind, 
relax. It's very vague, very abstract. So for this one, that I liked is that, so very detail oriented, step by step, step by step. However, so there's a something in between. So now we, we're doing this, very detailed, which I think most of the other uh, people's uh, students that they've been learning other, probably it's not as detailed as this one, as this uh, systematic as this one. So whether it's on the right side or say maybe in the middle. So this one, you could say it's a little in this side, towards this direction. So you want to think a little, you don't want to think it too scientific, steps wise. So it, the, you want to think, how do you say that? Nebulous? The, the quantity, you have to think not use a scientific, not use a measure to, to, to measure the, the length, height, and all those things. It's a think broader, open up, and think it's art. Like you draw a circle. If in mathematics, you use the tool to get the perfect circle. But you as a Picasso, draw a circle. You will just do this. You, you use the tool, definitely it's not circle. It's not round. But for him, it's round, a uh, full moon. The people say, oh, I got it, that's full moon. You, you, you need to start introduce a little bit here, this kind of things. Then don't think too much the scientific thing. Actually, All those, yeah. yeah. Actually, when I do, I most enjoy to do the feng shi. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, so thinking that way, thinking that way. Yes, yes, yeah. So use that. That's as a um, stepping stone or say the, to relate that. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, if you like a feng shi, then definitely you don't want to think too much. Yeah, yeah. good, okay. good. Yeah, so and for everyone, so yeah. For this, guan qi means get qi, go that point. That's it, don't think too much. And think lightly, think, oh, I just go use my mind, just go get the chi or there. At the same time, I'm tightening my anus, that's it. And then when I yeah, um, feel that I have enough there, and then just relax, then go back to the reverse way. Think, thinking very light, don't think too, too much. Okay, yeah, good, good point, yeah. Very helpful, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Any other questions before we go to the top three? Okay. Yeah. Um, Lao Yeah. This, this guan, is that similar to san dian shui, another Chinese word, pu, guan, guan jin qu, guan gai, guan. Is that, are those kind of similar? Yeah, yeah, you can think that, that way. You can think that way. Yes. If you feel that, that's more easier to, to so say. Yeah. The, yeah, yes, you can, like a guan pouring yeah. water, right? I was, I, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah, it's just liquid, no form, just going there, no form. Go inside the guan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. yes, yes, you can do that, okay. you can think in that way. Okay, let's try the third one, and then we will have a different, uh, um, we should have a different feeling. So the third one is Tanjo. Anybody wants a volunteer? Where's the Tanjo? How to locate Tanjo? Okay. Okay. So two nipples and then join your remai. That's the point. Tanjo. And or say we say jian tu, so the the error head, which is the your your rib joint, there's a the sharp <laughs> angle here. That's the tanjong. And that's hard to move, hard to expand because it's, because the bone, the rib. So inhale, south pole, go up front back to ming men, then go back go along your waist to the qi hai, then go up past 
Zhongran up to Tanjong, that's inhale. And exhale, Guan Qi, or say passing Qi to here, the first half, and the tightening anus. Once you think it's enough, then just relax, then go reverse pass back. Once we know the dot one and dot two, this one is just very easy, straightforward in terms of the detail. Let's try it. And then I, I might ask you, no, I'm, I will ask you which one you like the most. <laughs> Okay, any feedbacks? I see Elaine's is... I like doing this one because I can feel, I can feel it here. I can feel the heat uh, along this path. Yeah. So you like the dot three? Yes, and I really like the, 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 the point when I relax and I feel the chi going down. I really enjoy that part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, going up and down. Yeah. So, like, you just let it go. Go. Yeah, yeah. How about any other? So, the feeling. Not like, sort of related to feeling. Do you have any chi sensation in other parts? Uh. Yes, I, 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 I like all three because okay. all three give me a, a different level of sensation. 
So the productivity give me a more stronger sensation when I inhale. I feel you know the my upper two arms some sensation there, and when I exhale, I'm back down to my two two left two leg have the sensation. So it's a very very clear, and I I enjoy it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, good, good. How about other? So the sensation. So now I ask more general questions. More that was general. So more specific. With easy question and the easy answer. Which one you like the the most? Alphonse says, "Oh." Elaine says number three, so I go from here. Me, which one you like? I think number one and three, number but um, I feel more chi in my legs than the path. Good, that's fine. Like I said, right? So yes, on the path, if you feel the sensation. That's fine. That's good. And uh, if you feel sensation in other parts of the body, not along the path, that's also very good. Yeah. So your number one. Two. Okay. By the way, there's no good, uh, correct or wrong, uh, right or wrong answer. It's different people. It's just share your your feeling. And then, and then, Deng Keling, do you want to say something? I I feel they are the same. I need to. Uh... Try more times to to get a difference. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, thank you, Sherry. You mute. I I prefer the first one just because it's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. See. Yeah. Different people. That's they have a because because the uh, the the lesson that's in the the first second you know the last part that do the, the three position that I skipped. So I didn't practice. So basically this one is like I started, you know, I have something to build up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. So basically the first one is easier, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So that was the reason, and so it's even clearer. How about Albert Huang, Yun? Uh, um, uh, I think the three are the same. I'm not exactly sure which one I like the bed better. Uh, I need to, to do a little more before I can answer the question. Okay, okay. Then, Albert Young? Um, similar. similar. Maybe a slight preference to number two. Number two, okay. Uh, give some something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so it's, 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 I'm just uh, interesting to, to hear that. How about Shen Rong? I'm not really sure which one. Okay. Like. That's fine. That's definitely perfect. Fine. I'm not sure it means about the same or say about not the same. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Agnes. I just need to do more because okay. I have to. Yeah. So yeah. To yeah. That's fine. That's fine. So Elaine, we know, and uh, Eugene. Well, I have time to think, so that's good. Uh, I think number two, because number one, it's kind of all too close together. So differentiating between the tightening of the anus and uh, right the point that we're focusing on, it's too close. There is no time to travel. Number three, it's too far to go. So I don't have the time to do that concentrating on first part of the exhale because of all this extra stuff that needs to happen. And yeah. then on number two, it's just in between, so that's pretty good. Okay, good. Yeah, see, different people, that definitely is, that, that's all, all your preference. How about Yansi and Hu Yan Yan? I think the number three is a very much longer cycle, so it's a kind of, Risk of run out of breath. Oh, okay. So that means, so can I say, say this? You like the number one and the two, not three. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, yeah. 
On the contrary, I, I, I like number three. Probably because I did number one and number two, I'm more familiar with the path. And I, I, I like number three. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because definitely we more or less practice the similar thing. That's the third time. And then you can do that. And I think um, Elaine, she was saying that because it's a longer path. And actually, it's along the the Ren Mai. So she think that's is that what you you're saying, right? Elaine, we cannot hear you. Oh, oh! I thought you were asking Bu Yan Yin. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so I, I thought you were saying, yeah, yeah, they were asking. Yeah, yes. So I thought you you want to say something along the Ren Mai. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. I'm Elin and Gao Xiaosong. Yeah, I, I like number three. But <clears throat> I'm thinking if those three steps, if um, either one, you know, if they don't go to Mingmen, I think it's better just go to Renma in front. Instead of back, in the front, back, front. So give me a harder time to think, now I should go back, now I should go front. Why have to go to Mingmen? Because we want practice this path. Go outside your comfort zone. Oh. When, you, when you're a begin, beginner, you don't even know what's the Shihai and the South Pole. And now Shihai and the South Pole, you say, why you need to tell me this? That I can just do this without even thinking, without even I just so automatically. Yeah, so now we are trying different paths. This is, say, longer path. Maybe you're not used to that, but it's not necessarily the harder path. And this might give you a chance to experience more different path. Plus this, you might be able to get even stronger sensation. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I will do it. I will practice. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah That's like right. We need practice. After all, we just start today. Yes. Uh, how about Gao Xiaosong? Yeah, I like number three, especially oh. the second half of exhaling. Oh, okay, when you're exhaling. Like a sliding down. Sliding down, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. Like an alpine slide going down. <laughs> yeah, 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 good. Just need to control. Bo <laughs> Yijian. Hello. Huh? You, you're mute. You mute. You mute. I like the number three. Oh, okay. Because I don't have to think anything, so I just shoot the chi directly to uh, uh, the. To Tanzhou. Tanzhou, yeah. yeah. Tanzhou, yeah. yeah. And then relax. Yeah. Let, let it go. It's just strong. Just let go. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's exactly just automatic. I don't think too much. It's just let it go because, like I mentioned, right? So you already built the path. More or less, you like the how do you say domino. So you already build up that. Then you just tip it. You automatically go finish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. So see, that's after all, we just first start this. Yeah. And so you just need to practice. Oh, by the way, so whether which one you like the most, like uh, I'm assuming that like it means you have more sensation, but you want to practice all those three, not just the one that you liked or not the one you don't have sensation. You want equally amount of time to practice this. Say for the, this uh, coming week, you probably want to practice say five minutes, five minutes, five minutes for each of those every day mm -hmm. to get it familiar with. So the idea, similar to the big earlier parts has a top one, two, three, I mentioned that. So the analogy is that, so first we don't have any feeling. Now I have a lot of feeling compared with no, no feeling or say 1% feeling. So you got a lot. But actually, it's not a lot. You probably only have 5%. So you want to practice, practice. Make this 5% 1% 1 
become 90%. And this is 1% you don't have feeling or vaguely or you want to practice this. Yeah, become 90%, become 90%. So all those you need to build up to a higher level, more stronger level. And it's new path. And uh, believe me, they, if you pass, pass Mingmen, you might get more stronger feeling. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So stay home, practice. Okay. <laughs>